All right, what's going on everybody? So this video right here is actually a conglomeration of like three, two or three days of me bed fishing at this small local pond in Carville, Tennessee. It's called Halley Park for people over there. They were spawning hardcore. They were all over the bed, all over the bank over there. And the first day I went over there, the water was crystal clear. I'm talking about super clear. I could see down probably six or seven foot. It was ridiculous. And I could see them bed fish all scattered around. I mean, I could see 12 inches way off the bank, four foot deep. I could see them sitting on beds. So it was so clear. Caught a few bedfish, then I went back with a GoPro strapped to a fishing, a broken fishing rod, and I was going to stick it in the water and get some of these fish catches on video, and then, bam, algae bloom. Couldn't see any more. The water got really, really green. Y'all probably seen algae bloom. The water got really, really green and has a lot of particles floating in when there's algae bloom. The fish get way easier to catch, but harder to see them. I couldn't get the good footage with the GoPro, so didn't work out, but that's how it goes. It's not a big deal. Anyways... Hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, caught a bunch. This like this little pond has like eight pounders in it. A lot of people fish it, so highly pressured, and we caught a lot of bass out of it. So Halley Park, Carville, Tennessee. If anybody want to know where it is. So I got one of them. too man super fat i'm gonna let him go right down here because i want to catch the other one also it's about a pound bigger it looks so oh, oh my god Yeah, I, I caught the male and the female's still there. I just broke it off. Yeah, I saw you got the male. I don't got no more hooks with me. <laughs> you know, I kind of like what this quarantine's doing to people. Up on the bank. That's a good one. <laughs> I told you two and a half pounders. Is there a hook in his mouth? Um, yeah, there's a hook in his mouth. Yeah, there's a hook in Kyle's trying to talk in my video and say that he broke off my fish. <laughs> I think it's cool. Okay, YouTube, you saw it here first. Kyle Walter just almost fell down at the park. I think we've caught five today. Okay. That's a little bass, small one. It's a little male. He was on he's on bed right there waiting for a female to come up. You wanna show it to her? That's a lo largemouth bass. Just back. Yeah. They're, they make little nests right beside the bank this time of year, and you can walk around and just see them laying all over the place. So they have rules on how big they have to be to keep them? I'm not sure what the rules are in this. I don't, I don't ever keep them, so I, I don't know. But most places they do. He doesn't keep them. He's just do it for fun. There's a little baby bass right there. Little big ones. Get in the truck. I'm about to catch a giant right here. 
there's eight pounders in here and I know they're right here in front of this. Can I tell you a secret? Flip flops are not all terrain shoes. This dude will not let it go. Oh. That's how you fall down catching one. Trying to get it on GoPro and I didn't see him and pitch to it. Check it out with that white rod. Guess what I'm doing with it? Sticking it in the water with a GoPro on it. That was cool. So I got the GoPro. Got the fish right here. I'm gonna try to pull the old GoPro back up. Make sure it ain't completely screwed. <laughs> it's a little one, but found one on bed that was good enough to stay with the camera in this bed. So I'm gonna put him right back. Good one. Ate the little, little wacky rig. We are at Halley Park in Collierville, Tennessee. It is approximately 78 degrees, windy, and no sign of the coronavirus. It has been 1 minute and 49 seconds. Kyle is still working on this bedfish. Use my thing, Kyle. I think they like my thing better than yours. So also, everyone, Kyle has said that... <gasps> oh, he almost had him. He said that both times that I caught my fish, he said, I was going to let you have them. Because he says stuff like that. Don't know why. It really is. This is my. I spilled this spinning rod with a smaller starting guide, and it really helps. It controls the line a little bit better. So. And that's what I've caught my first two fish on. Swing him up on the bank. 
Probably like a pound 14. Two pounds in the air. That's the fourth, fifth, fourth fish of the day. So, me and Hunter are dedicating two full days to getting all our stuff in order, getting all our videos edited and ready to go. So, go ahead and hit us comment, leave us a comment, hit that like button, go ahead and subscribe because the video is about to start pouring out. We've got so much content, we've been fishing every single day, and we've hardly been editing at all, so we're trying to get this back on the rails. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Keep checking back because the video is about to start pouring out. I will see y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed a little pond fishing from me. Fish the Elite Series, but also fish off the bank all the time. Your boy just loves a fish.